Hi everybody! Today in this video, I wanted to show you, talk about five of Hershey's favorite treats that could also be good for your pets as well. And when I mean your pets, I mean your dogs and cats. I mean, of course, they don't work the same way as some fruits don't digest the same way as they do for cats as they do for dogs but these five treats right now in front of me are actually good for both your dogs and your cats in moderation of course so this is hershey hi i'm kathy with pet teak we develop non-toxic pet products that are safe for your dogs and cats so they can live a longer and healthier life at the same time help our planet become a cleaner place to live in with our non-toxic pet products this is Hershey. He is a nine-year-old palm. He's just chilling in our bedside lounge right now. So this is our bedside lounge. It's one of our most popular sellers. You can get it now at www.petteak.com. You can find them under pet beds. So if you do sign on, say hi. And definitely, I love it when you guys engage. Hi, D. Mendoza Schnauzer. <laughs> And yeah, so I would give you a little 360, but since I do have the fruits in front of me, you could definitely check it out online. On um, There's an upper deck and a lower deck, and the lower deck has a total of three entryways. One on the side here, one on the side here, and one in the back here. So what the bedside lounge is really quick is it goes against your bed. Some people don't like it when their dogs sleep on the bed or it's too crowded you know some significant others prefer the dogs to not hog up all the bed so the bedside lounge is a good way for you to put it against your bed your pets could be next to you they could be under sometimes if you have multiple pets they like to take turns going one sleeps on the bottom one sleeps on the top and yeah pets love it he's just chilling and the cover is washable there's a one inch mat that's super comfortable. If you check our, if you follow us on social media, which is Pet Teak Pets, you could always find Hershey and some of our customers sending us photos and sleeping on the top bunk because it's so comfortable. Okay, we better get started before he falls asleep. Can you see his eyes? <laughs> Are you excited for some treats? Yummy. He's really sleepy, it's his nap time. Yes, dogs take many naps, if you guys didn't know. And I'm hoping he'll eat this. If not, he'll eat them later. So I did want to talk about his five favorite treats with you guys. Hi, Celeste. Hi, June. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. I'm just kidding. Okay, so let us know which fruits your dogs like to eat as a treat. So we do try to avoid, you know, pellets and processed foods. I myself love to feed Hershey natural foods, just like me. I try to stay away from processed foods. And since I have, I felt more energetic. My digestive system has been a lot better. Same with Hershey and of course these treats. I, depending on your dog's size, I sliced up really little, like a little bit. So because I'm gonna feed him five fruits, I just sliced up like really teeny tiny amounts for him to kind of nibble on if he has the energy right now. But yes, I would like to give a warm thank you to for Hershey for joining us since he's sleeping. This is how comfortable the bedside lounge is. Okay, so these are five of Hershey's favorite, uh, favorite fruits. <laughs> Um, this is the blueberries, yummy, the bananas, apples, peaches, and strawberries. So all these fruits, they're great in fiber. They have, vit they have vitamins um, and, uh, and minerals and other good stuff for your pets. So the blueberries, it has, it's a great source of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and a lot more. I like to give this in moderation, and of course, let's try it. <laughs> Hershey is a picky eater. The good thing about this is, I don't know if your dogs do this, but my dog actually got into the habit, which is really bad, but we eat together. <laughs> so when I'm eating blueberries, 
This is another reason why I like to eat healthy. So when my dog is next to me, I get to also nibble, give him like a little bit. I don't know if you guys bird feed your dogs, which means you guys chew them and like give them a little piece because I do that sometimes. And another thing is with blueberries, I don't recommend. Wow, that was really sweet. Did you like it? Yeah, are you ready for more? He's like, where? Stop petting me, get more food. Give me more snacks. So with blueberries, I don't recommend you guys freezing them and giving them by its, giving the dogs by itself. Because blueberries, if you freeze them, it could be a choking hazard. So what I normally like to do with blueberries is I like to mix it in with Greek yogurt and strawberry to make a cute little frozen snack for Hershey in the summer. Other than that, with blueberries, I would give them like little bite-sized pieces for Hershey to chew on, not suck on because it's frozen. But And you see they're soft, full of antioxidants. Yum! Hershey loves to have eat with me and he loves snacks. So I love to give him the healthiest snacks. With bananas, I love bananas myself. Of course, you guys all know they're high in potassium. They're a great low calorie treat for your dogs. They're full of, they're full of vitamins, biotin, fiber, and copper. And also with cats too. So cats, they don't digest. All they do is digest the the fiber in it and what it can like a little bit of banana can help your cats have better digestive system but if you give them too much bananas it could also cause diarrhea and this goes for all fruits just give them in moderation and it's good for their body but if it's too much they can actually have the runs and it's not good for them if you give them too much <laughs> Okay, so his next favorite fruit is the apple. It's an excellent source of vitamin A and C and of course fiber, just like for humans. And this is a great treat for senior dogs, especially because it's low in protein and fat. Hershey, you wanna try some apples? Yummy. Oh, no, you want apple? No, later. Later. Okay, so Hershey knows when to stop and I'll definitely give him some put it in his when he comes up to me later He'll usually what well, he'll usually want to play or want treats So <laughs> we'll give them to, to him later um, His next favorite fruit is Peaches I, I was gonna eat this myself. Let's see if he'll eat it Peaches he'll eat. Maybe apple not so much because we've been giving him a lot and since he's a picky eater, he likes to have variety of fruits. I don't know if your pets are like that too. Let us know in the comments below. So yes, parfait for doggies. You're probably talking about the frozen yogurt summer treat. I love making that for Hershey. It's very nutritious for them. <laughs> It's a very nutritious treat. And so with peaches, they're high in vitamin A. Of course, I'm gonna say this now, is when you're giving your pets fruits, make sure they're fresh. I don't rec don't, don't give them canned foods because they actually, you know, they're preserved. They, anyways, yeah, don't give them canned food because they're like preserved. And so I highly recommend to, I don't highly recommend, you guys have to just give them fresh fruits. <laughs> and so another one is strawberries. I actually love strawberries. I don't know if you guys know this, but strawberries have an enzyme on them that helps your teeth become whiter. Okay, if my teeth are white, it's because I just had a bunch of strawberries. And yes, somebody just said, I love being able to share my food with my doggies. Me too. Especially since this quarantine, they've been chilling with you on the couch. You've been snacking in front of the TV. <laughs> so he just ate that right up. <laughs> um, and strawberries not only make human's teeth white because of their enzymes, they also help make your dog's teeth white. 
and they're also full of fiber and vitamins and maybe he'll want a little more so with strawberries um it doesn't really entice cats too much unless they're not as sweet so a lot of sweet foods because cats are carnivores they don't really um attract they're not very like <laughs> Do you want more treats here? You didn't have this apple. You want the apple? Yeah? Okay, good. They don't really entice cats as much because cats don't have a sweet tooth. So that's the thing with fruits. But hey, if your cats eat it, definitely feed them in moderation as well as your dogs. I can't say that enough because I don't want them to get a diarrhea problem <laughs> at your house. That's You have to clean that up. So in moderation, really teeny tiny bits. They should not be, these fruits should not be replaced as a meal. They should only be treats. Um, you want some bananas? Oh my gosh, is he spoiled or? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, also feed in moderation because fruits are really high in sugar. That's why you should only give them as a treat. Hi, baby. <laughs> and of course, like I said, make sure your treats are bite-sized so it doesn't, it's not a choking hazard for them. And definitely gauge depending on your dog's size. For example, if you have a bigger dog, you could feed, if you're only feeding them blueberries, you could feed them like 12 blueberries. But if you're, this is according to the AKC, so I did look this up. And for smaller dogs, just feed them like two or three, depending on the size of your dog. Hi, baby. Okay, so the reason why we didn't do a live yesterday um, on Tuesday is because Hershey went to get a haircut. <laughs> and of course, like I said, try feeding your pets a lot more fresh fruits rather than processed foods because they are animals too living with us and they need natural nutrients so after this we'll have Hershey get a little nap that is all for today that was Hershey's five favorite fruits let us know what your pets like in the comments below we are super excited to hear what they are all right bye you guys see you next week or see you maybe see you in two weeks See you another week. Bye. <laughs>